chapter 5 the bible spoke concerning a man that has the capacity to subdue 10 cities for the lord wired within his, his being is the capacity to take the gospel to 10 cities and subdue them under the mighty hand of god but the devil discerned what he represented in god and they walk their way into his heart and give him a different identity. The Bible says day and night he was in the tomb crying and cutting himself. It's not his desire to hurt himself but the stone was given to him by the wicked spirit that afflicted him and day and night he was busy cutting himself just like some person when they are about to break forth. They have labored, they have suffered, they have stayed consistent and then suddenly when now it's about to be the season of visitation for them, suddenly some Something somehow we arose within them and they will set the straw, pull them out of their God ordained place, and they continue the cycle in another place. This man have the capacity to take their cities for God <laughs> with all his capacity. You know what the Bible said? The Bible legions living in that was the death of his capacity. Can you imagine man that had the capacity to host over 2,000 devils living inside his body? And he gave expression to all of them effortlessly. That was the level of the capacity that he had but the devil uh, took advantage of him in his unguarded in his unguarded moment and gave him a different identity so instead of crying on the mountain top of the salvation of the people what did he do he was locked up in the tomb with stone in his hand and with this stone he caught himself he hurt himself just like somebody under the sound of my voice who has been given to the spirit of pornography spirit of masturbation spirit of lust spirit of lies spirit of of, of whatever it is with which by yourself you hurt yourself you you orchestrate your stagnation but not tonight tonight something stronger than you will come upon you and yeah he say you will be torn into another man something will come upon you that will change your reality that will give you a new identity and after you step out of this place men will not be able to understand who you are anymore and then we ask the question like they asked in the day of Saul, it saw also among the prophets. Amen. They must have concluded. They say we have him trapped in the holes, trapped in our snare, trapped in our cocoon, trapped in our cover. But the fire of the spirit is coming now and is pulling you out, is bringing you out an invincible force. Stronger than the force that are bound you. I yeah, say after that you have gone from me, you will come into the company of prophets and you will prophesy with them because you will be torn into another man. This man oppressible by the devil. This man is subject to manipulation. This man that I see, witches and wizards, can still manipulate your possibility. But there is a man that is about to emerge. There is a man that is coming forth. And this man cannot be handled by the devil. He cannot be handled by Satan. He cannot be handled by forces of wickedness. Because he will be torn. Shaviyak! <laughs>